The last form that you need to fill out is something that's fairly new to the program, and it relates to um, an increasing concern about algae blooms. Um, we want you to record for us um, what the conditions are right here on the lake and whether or not there's a bloom that was going on in the lake. Uh, there's a separate form that you'll fill out along the shoreline if you saw a bloom that occurred and we'll give you a map on that form to document where you're seeing shoreline blooms. But this is a form that you wanna fill out for the center of the lake, for the places where you're collecting the sample. So the information on the top is the same as you filled out on the sampling record. The name of the lake, the county in which the lake is located, The CSLAP filter ID, um, which will tie these results to the filter that is being analyzed for algae and for algae toxins. Um, and you'll get that from the vial that's in the bag of bottles from which you took this paperwork out of. The date for which you're collecting this sample. Uh, a description of any bloom conditions out here in the center of the lake where you're collecting the sample, the name of the sampler. Um, and then we're gonna ask you to match up what you're seeing here out in the center of the lake with any of these pictures. So if you're seeing spilled paint, we want you to check this box. If you're seeing pea soup appearances, we want to check this box. If you're seeing green streaks, we want you to check this box. If you're seeing green dots in the water, and if you look over the side of the boat, um, it looks like there may be very tiny green dots that are found in the water. So we don't know if that's a bloom, but it would probably be a good idea to be checking that. That might be just a general greenness in the water, and that's one of the choices later, so we might be checking that as well. Um, if there are bubbling scums out here in the center, which is probably not a blue-green bloom, which these other categories are, the ones that we're most concerned about, um, then you would check that box. The next one is slight greenish or brownish tint to the water, and there is a slight greenish tint, so we'll check that box as well. Duckweed or water meal, if you're seeing that out in the center, you're gonna fill that in. Uh, if you're seeing other that isn't described here, but you want to report to us, you would check that. And maybe just as importantly, if you're not seeing anything, if the water is very clear, if you're not seeing any evidence of blooms when you're looking over the side of the boat, then we want you to tell us we're not seeing any evidence of a bloom, so you would want to circle that. We don't know if the greenness that we're seeing out here is in a bloom, but we're alerting, um, the sampler is alerting um, DEC and the Federation of Lake Associations that this may be a bloom condition. So that's why we've checked these boxes. So you want to make sure you fill this out each time you collect a sample. So you filled out three forms out here. You filled out um, the harmful algal bloom or the algae form. You filled out the sampling record and you filled out the two-sided field observations form. If you filled out all of these forms, then you've done everything that you need to do out here. Once you've filled out all the forms, once you've collected the water sample, once you've done the secu disc reading, you can take the anchor back up and go back to the shoreline. Thanks, Karen.